Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about global um, variables and using them inside functions. Now you may come across the problem that when you're predefining variables outside of your functions and you're trying to use them within your functions, you might find that um, you're not getting any sort of response from this. Your, the uh, variable will not you know you won't be able to do anything with it so let's use the example um, with an IP address let's uh, create um, the user's IP address inside a variable so we're gonna say uh, structure it like this now don't worry if you don't understand this code if you've never seen this part of the code before all this does is it returns the user's IP address. Server is just a preset of environmental variables that we can use. So let's just echo this out as it is, um, and then we'll see about creating a function that's gonna do something with this IP address. What we're gonna just be doing is echoing it out, but we're gonna be doing that inside a function. So let's refresh. Now, because I'm on a local, on my local host, local server, I'm working on my computer, um, my IP address is just 1.127.0.0.1, which is the standard notation for a local server. Now, what happens if I create a function down here? Let's say um, echo IP. And inside here, I just want to echo out user IP. Now you can imagine in a normal program that you've created, however simple or complex it's gonna be, wherever you echo this variable out, or wherever you do something with this variable, for example, we might say, um, let's say uh, string equals uh, your IP address is, and then we can catenate the user IP on the end of there. Let's just use this outside the function first of all. We can keep that in there because we're not going to call the function yet. Let's just use this outside of here and we can, uh, yeah, just echo that out. So let's have a look at what it says. So we've got your IP address is and then it gives us the IP address. Let's just put a space there. Okay, so this works. You would expect it to work because you've referenced the variable here. Okay, so now what happens if we do this inside a function? So I've created the string, your IP address is, and then I'm going to echo out the string. So what you'd expect to happen is for the um, variable here to be put into here, so that will make up this string and then we're echoing out the string. So let's refresh the page and see what happens. Okay, so we haven't actually called our function, so that's one vital thing I forgot. So I'm calling the function down here, so presumably once we call the function, the two lines I've highlighted in blue will be run. So let's try this out. Okay, now you'll notice that the string itself has actually been um, echoed out. However, the user IP has not. But, for example, if we echo it out, out here, it still does exist. So we're still echoing out this, this variable still, you know, holds a value. However, what's happening here is we're not being able to access it inside this function. And there's one simple line of code that you can use to do this. And you can put multiple variables um, within this. But for now, we're just going to be working with one. So all we need to do is specify the global keyword and then reference the variable number that we want to make global to this function. So global user IP. Now what will happen is this variable will be able to be picked up from out here. And then therefore, it will be put into there. Let's refresh, and you can see that it works. We are echoing out this string. The user IP has been gained from this value here. Uh, like I said, you can do multiple uh, things. So if you had, say, another variable here and another one here, you can just separate them by commas. Um, so why would we need to do this? Um, the answer is simple. You might have lots of either static or dynamic variables that you have to define outside. For example, you might have to define it in an include file. You might be including a different file that contains this user IP. So to be able to use it inside your function, you want to create it um, globally first in, inside your function, and then it will be able to be used.
Um, so for example, this IP, this IP address situation, we might want to define it somewhere else. We might not want to define it within our function because you could in fact just define it inside and it would still, oh, let's just uh, put that right, it would still work. So we're still getting exactly the same result from this when we refresh. However, what happens if we want to use this user IP now outside the function, we're going to have to declare it again. So it's a waste of, de you know, declaring a function inside the function and outside. So we tend to just use the notation that I've explained, and that will allow um, your outside of a function variable to be used within.